Doing this is a risky kind of a thing to sort of bring um, people from outside the business into creating a whiskey is quite risky. But at the end of the day, you have to listen to your consumers as well and you have to sort of bring opinions on board. We are bottling the lock-in today, which is our first ever crowd-sourced blend. Uh, it was a blend that really came about due to the conditions brought about by COVID-19 and the, the global lockdown. a really vibrant uh, flavour some blend we've got a bit of citrus in it a little bit of spice as well I think banana was thrown around quite a bit in the uh, in the zoom uh, online blending session that we did here we have our library of Irish whiskey flavours We wanted to stick very much to the ethos of the original whiskey bonders and the craft that goes into blending and picking out flavors. You know, all of those whiskey bonders would have made very small scale bespoke blends for local households. So they would have brought in the housekeeper, they would, would have brought in folks that were involved in the house and created a blend very, very unique to that particular customer. We've done the same thing, it's just that we've done it uh, in a very 2020 kind of way.